Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Luna says hello. My name is Rachel and I go by Rachel Ray on the internet and today is a floss tube episode. Um, I'm going to be sharing a lot of different crafts in this particular episode and it's going to be a little awkward as you can see by the crutches. Um, I sprained my ankle and so um, that's hence the disheveled appearance but sure I'm I'm at home what are you gonna do so I've gotten a lot of work done on my crafting and um, I'm gonna share with you my diamond painting first yes I don't have any finishes for cross stitch or diamond painting or anything goalie down please but I logged a lot of time logged a lot of a lot of time crafting this week so, we're starting on the 10th. Today is the 17th. Uh, oh, I didn't actually... Hang on, I'll have to come back to you. <laughs> Alrighty. So, I just tallied it up. I, I did 35 hours of crafting this week towards the marathon for MMIW G2S. And if you don't know what that is, um, I have a video around the 1st of September that explains, but basically... Luna wants to help me explain. But basically, we are raising money for the Coalition to Stop Violence Against Native Women. If you remember, um, me and a group of my floss tube friends, Michelle, Erin, Alicia, we all work together to raise money for a charity called Velisano. We did. And, ma'am... So in September and October of 2020, this is where it all started. Me and a few of my floss tube friends, Alicia, Michelle Bendy, Aaron Two Martini Stitcher. Um, Alicia is Resist Stitch, by the way, on Instagram. We all worked together to raise money for a charity called Velisano, which was raising money. It was it was a new idea to do a marathon online. And it's a pretty cool idea to use those hours um, instead of, you know, running on your own or whatever, just adapting it to what we could do, which is perfect because now that I am off my foot, um, it gives me a chance to explain how amazing this is doing a marathon where you're raising money for a charity that you like because you're physically not able to participate in a traditional marathon is just amazing to me. So, um, we have last year, 2021, we changed up the charity and we started raising money for the coalition to stop violence against native women, girls, and two spirits. They are based in North America and we enjoyed it so much last year that we decided to do it again this year. So you keep it in easy. Um, so same thing, if you were with us last year, you know what's going on, but basically we are raising money for a charity that uses that money to promote more education and awareness surrounding that issue and to get laws passed so that we don't have to keep doing these things for basic human rights, basically. So, and I love a good cause, so... Um, I crafted a lot more this week than I do normally, and so I want to share with you what I've done. First things first was my diamond painting. I am working on a piece from a shop called Diamond Shop. They are based in the Philippines. They have licensed artwork, and this is a 60 by 80 centimeter round drill painting called The Ghost Maker. It looks so good. So now I have my jellyfishes done. It's basically a woman that has her head tilted back and there's smoke coming out of her mouth and it looks like jellyfish. I am doing this for a diamond painting marathon, not a marathon, but like an event, online event called Drills and Chills. And it's just, we started spooky Halloween paintings starting September 1st and the idea is to finish this by October 31st 
I have a bit of it rolled up here. So it's, it's a lot longer than this, but um, getting there. I should have the last section done, hopefully today. We'll see. I'm planning on working on this uh, while I edit this video and while I watch a few of my friends online on Twitch, which is where I spend a bit of my time these days because I enjoy interacting with people live. So you're welcome to join us over there, uh, twitch.tv slash Rachel Ray Craft, if you would like to see me live. I go live on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Irish time. I, do, I live in Ireland, so it's Irish time, um, or UK time, uh, whatever is easier for you to remember. But let me place down some stuff so that nothing gets into the sticky parts. Okay, um, so another thing that I worked on this week was my new start from last week. And it's also coincidentally the giveaway. Uh, do I have it behind me? Oh, this is the auction win. I need to talk about auctions as well, actually. So where did I put the, where's the pattern? You think you're prepared. Let's talk about auctions real fast and then I'll get into the pin cushion. So over on my Facebook page this past week, we had auctions. And um, we raised money to go into my 99 pledges link. If you'd like to pledge or make a donation, I have a link down below if you want to check it out. Uh, we're getting, we're about just a little bit over halfway to my goal, which is $1,000 raised. I think that's the default for everyone, but I really want to hit it. So I'm doing lots of auctions this year. Uh, this was a work in progress of mine that I um, auctioned and the winner of this particular piece is, just bring it up, I'm sorry if you can hear any buzzing in the background, it is Samantha. Samantha N is the winner and we raised $105 for this uh, whip, which is amazing. Thank you so much, Samantha, for and everyone for your bids. Um, we will be doing auctions again this coming week. I don't have the posts ready for today, but I should have them ready for Monday. So we'll, I will be putting them on Facebook again. So please watch my Facebook page. If you don't have Facebook, I do apologize. Come into the Twitch channel and I'll have another very special thing for you to bid on. But um, my mini trick or treat by Randall Spangler now has a home with Samantha and I'm super happy about that. I also put up some auctions. One was for, both of them were for diamond paintings. One was called Giselle. Um, these are like really, these are out of print. Kristen, sorry, Kirsten, Kirsten won Giselle, and I believe it was, I'm sorry, I have to, I have to click all the buttons with Facebook, that's the sad thing, Heidi, Heidi won the brave one, and um, so with those two combined, I believe that we raised about $300, uh, so that's 400 and, 400 and some dollars, raised just this week. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. And I still can't find the pattern for this. Okay, so this is, it should be there. I was sure I put it there, but because I don't have feet that work properly right now, I am so sorry. I decided to start Lindsay Lane Designs Autumn Pincushion and it was a brand new start for me. Um, I am using my own hand dyed fabrics that I did, but since the last video, I actually dyed a different piece of fabric and started on it. Um, it's not quite as visible as the last one, but I still actually love it because in person, this looks perfect. You can actually, oh, dog hair. 
you can see it much more clearly in person. Um, the floss really pops off of the fabric. So I know that it looks really busy and everything, but it's perfect for me. Um, and basically this says fall and it has leaves, but as you can see, like I was saying before, there's, it's almost like ivy. And because I live in Ireland, fall for me is ivy. I hope you can kind of see that a little bit better. It's really cute, I'm not finished. So I will draw a winner. Actually, I need to do that right now. I will draw a winner and I will be sending that as soon as I finish this pattern. Okay, <laughs> so I went ahead and I ran the YouTube comment picker for the, for the pattern of this, the Fall Pincushion by Lindsay Lane. And the winner is Susan A. Congratulations, I've sent you an email. Thank you so much for filling in the happy mail form. If you would like to win giveaways on my channel, I ask that you are 18 and over and that you fill in my happy mail form. You'll need to open the description box of these floss tube videos. And just once, I need you to go in and fill in the happy mail form. That way I have your email address and I can email you to get your mailing address uh, if you win something on the channel. You only have to fill it in once and if for whatever reason you change your email address, you can edit the form to change your email or your YouTube username or whatever it is you might need to change. So the other giveaway that was on the channel last week was the bobbin stickers. Uh, my friend JB on Twitch makes these really cute tracker stickers and other stickers as well. And I offered up a, a trial set of the bobbin stickers. Uh, the winner of that is Roxanne Green. Congratulations, Roxanne. I've also sent you an email. Thank you so much, both of you, for uh, filling in the Happy Mail form and... Good luck to everyone in the future <laughs> for future giveaways, uh, which stay tuned to the end of this video because I have something to give you. Okay, so that is, I am almost 50% done with this and I should have this finished this week, no problem. Um, and then as soon, as soon as I finish my chart, uh, I will send it out in the mail to uh, Susan. Very exciting to have that going. I don't know what I did with those things, but to be honest with you, it's probably just in one of these cub one of these messy cubbies, uh, and that's fine. Uh, do I need to switch gears, or can I reach? Excuse me while I reach. I gotta, yeah. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm all discombobulated, can you tell? This has me, this just has me all shook up, this ankle thing. It's so annoying. I have very weak ankles, apparently. I twist them once every year and it goes back and forth and back and forth. And I don't know what's wrong with me. Who knows? So, my big project right now is my wood goddess. So I am doing I'm joining in with a few events online. Uh, the All Bellas Are Beautiful Stitch Along. That's being hosted by a few friends. Um, namely that I can think of. Uh, Miriam of Marumi Crafts and Jasmine of Knitting Nurse Jasmine. Um, I was inspired to start this Bella because of the Autumn Lane Stitcheries Dark queen of the earth stitch along that's happening right now because I had this already kitted up in my in my stash I wanted to go ahead and do it I'm not going to take it off the cue snap if I have a picture I will put the picture up here so that you can see where it was last time that I showed it to you I've made a lot of progress because I've had I've had a lot of time to work on it this week and um, I've been really focusing on it I think that Let's see, five, eight, eight hours, I want to say, more or less, eight hours of work this week on this project. And so here we go. This is Gaia, the Earth Goddess by Bella Filipina Designs on 32 count marbled bunny 
by XJU Designs. This is a linen. I'm stitching two over two with the called for flosses. But note, note, there is a color in here that this week, I think it was this week I had frog. Was it last week? Was it this week? It was this week. Um, I had to do a lot of frogging because there's a color in here that on the pattern says zero one, then it says white. And the kit that I purchased from Hawkins Hobbies, I have not contacted them, but the kit that I purchased from them, they included DMC 01, which is gray. I thought there was a mistake somewhere. I thought that Hawkins had it right, but no, no, no. It's white. It's B5200. So I'm using my, I actually have a thread of it right here, just in case, like for when I need it again on this side. But um, I have a cone of DMC 3865, I think, or is it 5200? What are you? Blanc. It's Blanc. I'm using Blanc because I have a lot of it, um, but it's perfect. Um, now you can see that there's no weirdness happening. It's very bright and light and beautiful, and that's the way that it's supposed to be. Um, this is such a nice stitch. I really enjoy working on this. The, the long lines of color and it being DMC means that I can stitch this Danish style, which means that I go in one direction all the way down, I count all my stitches, and then I cross them by coming back up or sideways or whatever way I'm going. But because we're working in long lines, it's just mm, so nice. I really like it. It's very meditative. We are getting to close to her, the side. I would show you a picture. I don't have it here, but I'll probably put it on my face um, so that you can see. We are getting close to the edge of her scarf or shawl on her left side here, or the left side, not her left side, her right side. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. We're going to get into some more flowers over here, and um, then I'm going to go back in and do the hands. I've been leaving them because I didn't know whether I should do them one over one or if I should just do them the same as all the other stitches. I think I'm going to do them all as the same as the other stitches for this particular piece. But regardless, when I am finished with this large page, it'll be time for me to move down. I'm going to keep moving down her dress uh, for the time being. I find it easier to stitch down and there's a lot more stitches going down than there are going up. So uh, we're going to use the winter to finish this dress. I was talking about separating the pattern into 12 parts. I have, I'm kind of doing that. Um, if I finish the page that I'm doing, which I believe you can't copy that. You can see how much more of the pattern that I have over here. It's not much. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, five different colors. So it's not, it's not a lot of work to be done. Uh, and then I will have my September's, September's, what's the word I'm looking for? The work that I'd like to dedicate for September will be done, all done. And today is the 17th, so um, I have plenty of time to work on other projects, to do like a palette cleanser, and then I can get back into this for October, and we're going to go down and we're going to do another page down. Um, fingers crossed that I can get all that done in October because... In November, I'm going on holiday for a week, so I won't be doing as much in November. Uh, I'll be working a lot on her in December, though. For, for Gaia, the Earth Goddess, uh, it's I'm using the All Bellas Are Beautiful Sal hashtag, uh, Wood Goddess Sal hashtag, and a little bit of Wood Sal hashtag. So if you would like to join me on Instagram by sharing your Wood Goddesses, your Bellas, please use those hashtags when you upload a photo so that we can go in and click the hashtag and then we can see all the pretty projects from everybody. That would That's the idea. If you don't have anything that works for that, that's fine. But if you want to go peek at the photos, they are very pretty. So there's that. Um, those 
are that. That is those. Those those are the <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. I'm rushing because I have a friend coming over for coffee and I need to get dressed. I decided to do Dark 13 on the 13th thanks to Heika Stone Cold Coffee Crafts reminding me that Dark 13 is happening even though it was in my calendar. Totally forgot. This is the Drawn Threads Trick or Treat. It's still available. You can buy it online. I bought mine from um, um, the Silver Needle. Uh, and I, they did a thread conversion for me. So I'm not using the dinky dies, which is what they call for on the back here. I'm using Weeks Dye Works because that's what, it was 2020, a different time back then. If you'd like to pause, you can get my color conversion. I'm very shaky today. And I put my finger, my, my whole hand into my diamond painting. Um, I have the color conversion up on my, I think it's on my whip list on YouTube, on YouTube, on Google. If you'd like to check that out, I have a link to the whip list as well. It has all the details about every whip that I'm working on in case I forget to say something because that happens. So this is trick or treat. This is on 32 count dirty by Zweigart. I'm stitching this one over two. And this is such a fun little project. I work this in hand. This is my only in hand project at the moment. So there we go. So last time I, I was almost finished with the R and I did the whole T. So now we have trick or and the idea was, because I, I don't like going, I don't like stitching left and I don't like stitching up. So I try to get as far to the left as I can and then work my way right. Um, so now we're going to add in, um, we've got bats, ivy, a skeleton, and then we have more pumpkins. Um, one more pumpkin here and another crow. Right? No, there's a, the spiders there already. We have a cat over here and another pumpkin and a ghost. It's going to be, it's going to be so cute. Uh, if I focused on this, I could probably have this on this year. I don't know if this will be the focus piece because I have another, another Halloween piece that I'm working on that's called The Midnight Way by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery and it's really close to a finish. I'd like to get that done. This was started on, was it? Yes, October 1st of 2020. Again, a lot of my whips are from 2020 because I only started stitching in 2019. And um, I just went bananas during the pandemic. And this is a one of a kind bag from my cottage number nine. If you live in Ireland, they do amazing project bags. Uh, but they don't do cross stitch project bags anymore. Unfortunately, the the vinyl front was not working. I'm try I'm going to try to convince them on my next order that we should, we could do just flat bags with no vinyl. Just please satiate my need for bags, please. Next, I'm gonna talk about a new start that I'm about to get ready, get going. Uh, obviously, first I wanna finish the pin cushion because I meant to have that finished this week, but you know life. Uh, my new start is gonna be this one. Uh, plans. This is the plans section. Um, this is called Dracula's Confession by Lindy Stitches. And the picture is of a bat that's hanging up on the flowers. And it says, I love the shade and the shadow and would be with my thoughts when I may. This is a quote from Bram Stoker's Dracula which is a book that I read in uni that I had to study quite a bit and is near and dear to my heart, as you know. Um, this, I'm going to do the vertical version. The horizontal version is very large. There's a lot of stitching. These letters though, the capital letters are chef's kiss, but um, I'm, 
I would rather have the smaller one. This one will fit in an eight by 10 frame. And that's what I want. Framing is very hard for me. So there are full cross, three quarter stitch and back stitch in this piece. The called for is murky by picture this plus. Good luck getting picture this plus uh, in Ireland. Anyway, I it's very hard for me to order picture this plus anywhere. It's 104 by 137. Um, and it calls for weeks, dinky dies and DMC. I'm using, I'm using weeks. Uh, I'm using dinky dies and I'm using Valdani. I'll show you. I'm using them because I've had them here for this project and I'm going to be using Heike sending me some, uh, as well to use because we don't really use them. I'm only using them because I kitted it up with it. This is my fabric. It is much darker in person. There we go. Aha, mm. uh -huh. no. It's lightning out. There we go. See? This is called Gilded by Mystic Fabrics. It's super gold. It's goldenrod color. Okay? Goldenrod. It's not a good color for me, as you can tell. But this is 32 count goldenrod. This was the July 2020 fabric of the month. And these are our colors. Uh, we've got leaves. We've got the outline or the inside of the, I believe that's the inside of the bat. This is the outside of the bat and I think one of the borders this is the Valdani floss and then there's um Chris's bonbon which is a medium it goes it kind of goes in the middle there and it has a heavy variegation I could not find it online for the life of me in 2020 and there were several times where it was meant to be ordered it didn't happen it never came it's fine no biggie there was a lot going on in 2020. So, uh, Heike just, we talked about it when I was like, I have a need to start a new project and I want it to be a Lindy stitches because do you know how many Lindy stitches patterns I have in my possession? So many, I have so many and I really, 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 really want to start something beautiful. And I'm pretty sure that I'm actually going to use a Caroline bag. <laughs> I'm probably going to use this bag, which was made by Evertote in Canada. Caroline Off the Grid Needle Arts here on YouTube is her personal channel. And if you want to follow her shop, because she is an online needlework shop, she specializes in certain things, but she started as a bag shop and now she does specialty things. Um, this is my Caroline bag and I want to use it. It's so beautiful. It's been sitting in my kitted projects section for a long time because it has a project in it already that I'm not going to start this year, but this is um, Park Hopper Bart's Black Cats and Spooky Bats. This is available. I got the whole Leo and Roxy floss and everything, but I want to use this bag so bad. So I'm going to put the flosses for Park Hopper Bart into the little notions bag and we'll just, just put that back into the kitted project section. Um, this one is mostly just borders and words. There's a little tiny kitties down there. Uh, and I love it, but I did buy, I did buy this for the bag. I'm going to, I'm not going to lie. Um, I love Park Hopper Bart. I did his um, Wakanda Forever, which is a very fun pattern. Um, check it out. But this is now going to live inside my Caroline bag. And look, look at all the pretty bats. And it matches the fabric. So, another project bag that is free to be used for another project. 
So yes, I'll have to add that to my whip list soon. So that's all of the cross stitch that I have to share with you right now. Uh, let's do a giveaway. I totally forgot to mention that it is also season of smalls. I got overwhelmed. I'm doing the fall pin cushion because it's a small and my friend Jesse mislaid pages is doing season of smalls here on floss tube and on Twitch. And in the spirit of those things, again, I'd like to give away something small. And this week I'm going to give away quirky Quaker number three, which is the bat by darling and whimsy design. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. I love these because they're super quick. You can knock this out in an evening, no problem. Uh, for me, Quirky Quickers usually take about two, two stitching sessions. Look at it, it's so cute. It's so, so cute. Now this says that it was stitched with Gentle Earth, Gentle Earth? Gentle Arts um, Gast Threads, Gentle Arts sampler threads in carriage black. You could also use DMC 310 or 3799. Um, use whatever cl color floss you want, whatever color fabric you want. But the model was stitched two over two on 28 count Nocturne by Picture This Plus, and it was finished on a wooden panel. With little bats on it, it's so cute. Um, check out Darling and Whimsy Designs on Instagram. Uh, and definitely tag, tag them in your posts. So how do you win this chart? Uh, please be 18, <laughs> fill in the happy mail form. If you don't fill in the form and I pull your name, then I will pass you over and I will choose someone who has filled in the form. Please, it's important. I can't contact you via YouTube. Uh, I can only contact you through email and I need your email address first. Uh, and that gives me permission to email you. Makes sense, right? Then I would like you to please use the word bat in a comment. You can be as creative or non-creative as you like. Um, and that's it. So good luck, everybody. I hope you win. <laughs> Quirky Quaker number three, bat. So let's move on to the fiber arts, shall we? This week... Uh, I worked on two projects. One is my crochet project. I am crocheting a cardigan. This is called the Stony Shore Cardigan. I'm using a, a yarn called Adriafil Chromia. I've got it over here. I'll get you the... There we go. This is what it looks like when it's in its balled up form. Nice and fluffy. Um, this is shade 15. It was, it, it got discontinued in 2020. So imagine my shock when I ran out of yarn and had to go look for it online and then it's like super expensive. So here we go. Uh, last time, I had the back panel done. So this is the back panel, all done. This goes like this. And then we have front panels. So I was working on the, la on the front panel the last time that you saw this. The progress marker does not indicate where we were. We were before the pocket even. So that's the hole for the pocket. Here's the front panel and it goes it drapes across the front, right? This is going to be a very big cardigan, I know, but it'll be nice and comfy. And once it's blocked, once it's washed, I think it's actually gonna shrink a little bit. So there's front panel number one. Now I'm doing front panel number two, which I started yesterday. This is it. So basically I do um, 10 rows and then you chain for the pocket and then you keep going, you keep going up. So that's the front panel. I don't mind telling you these things because this pattern is free on her website. This is from Evelyn and Peter. Um, you can find them on Instagram. You can find them 
on Ravelry. Um, if you go to Ravelry, they there is a charge for the pattern. I ended up breaking down and buying the pattern. It's worth it. Um, you don't have ads everywhere and it's just a little bit easy. It's a little bit easier to read. So I do recommend the $5 that it costs to buy the pattern. Um, it, 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 ugh, words. It does crochet up really fast. So if you are an impatient person like me, I'm very impatient with my fiber arts. Um, it's interesting enough that you can feel like you're being, it's not too repetitive. Uh, that's important for me. If I just did garter stitch the whole time, then I, or stock and net the whole time, I would just be too bored. So big plus for that. Highly recommend Evelyn, Peter, Evelyn and Peter on Instagram and on Ravelry as well as her own website. And then my other whip was a new start last week. I think I shared a little bit. I think it was. I'm not going to look because we're near the end now. But I'm knitting a baby blanket for my friend. Uh, just found out that, well, she had the baby. The baby that I knitted the pumpkin hat for. And um, I decided that I wanted to make a blanket. Did I show you this already? I'm starting to doubt myself now. Uh, knit. I don't know if I've shown this to you yet. So I started a new blanket, a knitted blanket called the Habitation Throw by Helen Stewart. I'm using my Knit Crate yarn which this is Audine Wool's Flirt. It's a sport weight. Um, it, it's a high twist. You can tell. It's beautiful. Um, I'm also using scrap yarn. These two I used in my slip stravaganza shawl. And this one was in my poncho. You know that poncho I made? Um, I haven't worn it because it's, it, it's been too hot. But these are from Slip Stravaganza. These Heike Stone Cold Coffee Crafts died for me. Um, I'm using them as accent colors in this blanket. This is going to be teeny tiny. But look. So the progress marker is just to show me which side is the right side. Uh, this is the corner. And so here we go. So far we have about... 10 inches, 11 inches of blanket. I don't know the proper way to hold one of these. Maybe this way is best. Let gravity do the work, Rachel. Um, it's so pretty. I love it so much. So basically I'm just, I'm randomizing the amount of um, accent color I do. So like the next time it'll just be like a row or two and then, you know, a full, a full strip. The strips are not always even, <laughs> uh, but hey, whatever. It's it's a baby blanket. The baby's going to love it. Mama's going to love it. It could be ended end up used as a spit rag for all I care. Um, baby's name is Isla. Such a pretty name. Uh, and the the cute stitch marker that I have right there, that, that little progress keeper, is actually made by Jessie Miss Lake Pages. Over here. So that is that is that. I will make sure to put a progress marker. I'll do that right now so that we don't forget while we're talking um, so that I can show you how much how much I get done for the next time. Oh, look, I have it ready. It has a little bat. A little bat. This is from Python Charms, I think, um, on Etsy. So that is it. That's all of the crafting that I've done this week, which is quite a lot of crafting in fairness. Uh, I did, I don't know, five, six hours of crafting on this. Like I said, I have 35 hours done this week in total um, because I was in bed all day on Thursday. I did nine hours of crafting. 
I was crafted out on Thursday when I hurt my leg or my ankle. Uh, I was I was actually at the point where I was like, I can't I can't do this anymore. Several times that day, actually. So that is me. It is now 140 and I should probably get ready because my friend is coming over for coffee and I don't want to be in my bathrobe. Y'all can see me in my bathrobe, but my friends on in the real world cannot see me in my bathrobe. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me and spending time with me. I always love checking in with you all. I hope that you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe <laughs> and not breaking your ankles um, or twisting them. And I will see you all next Saturday. Don't forget the auctions will be up on Facebook again this week. And um, I'm excited to raise more money this week. Uh, oh, oh, I forgot to tell you, if anybody's keeping track, I am now starting our 76, I think. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check real fast. I just posted... Our, yeah, I'm starting hour 76 out of 100. So I'm getting close to my 100 hour goal. I'm trying to craft for 100 hours to raise money for the marathon. So uh, if you would like to match my pledge, because I will be donating uh, $100 to the marathon for all of my crafty hours uh, at the end of this, to the marathon. If you would like to match me or if you'd like to challenge yourself and see how much crafting you get done this week and then you want to make a donation, that would be amazing. I invite you to do that. You could do it on my page. You could do it on one of one of the other pages there. It doesn't matter. Uh, all the money is, is going to the best cause. It doesn't matter who raises it, right? So thank you all so much for your help, for your encouragement and all your support. And I will see you all next week for another episode of Lost You. Take care, everyone. Bye!